So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys I'm going to show you how you can upgrade all of your blueprints super fast, super easy, no infected trophies needed and this one doesn't crash your system or console. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so yesterday I uploaded a video of how you could upgrade all of your blueprints for quite easy. It required you to quickly shift uh, tabs as you start purchasing certain items. And what this would do is it would upgrade the blueprints instead of you purchasing said items on said tab. The problem was for many, many people, including myself, after a certain while, it was crashing my PC. In my Discord, it was crashing people's uh, consoles as well. So I know that was a major issue and it stopped a lot of people wanting to do it because if it crashes, once you've done it, you lose your progress and any blueprint you've actually exploited to get here using this method, it actually reverts back. To, and like I said, you have to spawn back and start it all again. It's annoying. We don't want that. We don't want to crash. And I've actually, guys, figured out a way where it doesn't crash your system. I've tested this for an hour. Hasn't crashed me once. So yes. So... I'll explain how the first method worked, the one I posted yesterday, and I'll explain exactly how this one works and how it eliminates the crash. Now firstly guys, you do need to come to any craft master on the actual map, it doesn't matter where they are, any craft master will, this will work with. And let me explain the exploit and what's so great about this. What this does is it takes away the need to use any infected trophies whatsoever, all you need is gold. All you need is that old world money. Now, if you've got stacks of it like me, this is perfect for you. If you haven't, there's no excuse, guys, with the amount of uh, farms and exploits and glitches that are out there. You should have a ton of money. If you haven't, I'll link a couple of videos in the video description for you to check out and use. But yes, you will need a ton of... We well, don't need a ton of gold for this, but a lot of gold really helps out because you are spending gold in upgrading these, all of these, actually. So what you need to do is go into their inventory go across to craft parts and what what we want to do is we want to look for items that way we can see they've got more than one for sale and because we need well we needed this pop up here choose the amount to buy we needed that well actually guys that's what's causing the crash this 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 pop up here choose the amount to buy is what is causing the crash we don't want that to pop up but in yesterday's video where the uh, crash was being caused we needed uh, an item with more than one for sale. For instance, any of these, as you can see, they've got more than one for sale, so these would work. And what we needed was, we needed to quickly shift tabs as we're about to purchase, so just like that. And this here, you can see the background has changed to the uh, craft tab, the upgrade tab, but we've stayed. And there you go, guys. It's about to crash my game. There we have it. That is exactly what was happening. Now I'll quickly cut the video and we'll resume where we left off. That's what we're going to eliminate and I'll prove to you exactly how in a quick second. So this new method that eliminates the crash, what you need to do is all the items she has here, and like I said, it will cost gold. So you need to have plenty of gold to do this either way. And you want to buy all these items that she has here. So there's only one left of each. That way here, as you can see, she's got nine things for sale, nine resources for sale. That means we'll have nine chances right here to do this exploit indefinitely. So what we want to do is go to the anything that's got more than one for sale. We want to buy it, so she's only got one left of it, just like that. And what will happen is nine notices doing this. Some of the items completely bug out, and you won't be able to purchase any of them. If that happens, uh, I'll explain in a second. So buy all these. So there's only one left of each, just like this. And now guys, what we need to do is, just as you're purchasing, just as that bar fills up, you can see the bar filling up there, just as that bar fills up, you need to switch tabs. Simple as that. Another thing I did notice as well guys, is which I suggest you're doing, which could also help eliminate any kind of crash, is always within your upgrade tab, hover above the very first item in that list. Now we know we have nine items here with my craft parts to attempt this with but always hover above the first item on the upgrade page 
then on the craft parts page and always purchase the first one. What I also notice it does guys is always upgrade the first item too. So the first item you're hovering above, it always upgrades that very first item in that slot. So keep that in mind also. But if you are upgrading everything here, it doesn't really matter what upgrades first. So when that bar fills up guys, you need to quickly switch tabs and you'll hopefully get it work. So just keep trying guys and you will eventually get it to work. So we hover above the broomstick, or broomstick sorry. Then we just go across to oxidizers and then we try and buy it but when like i said when that when that that bar fills up we need to switch tabs there we go see now i sold it so that's what i'm saying i've got nine chances to do it you can do it with the same one for ages it can normally work but sometimes it don't and it can be a pain in the ass but you gotta do what you gotta do it stops the game crashing guys there you go boomstick upgraded boom there again oh, almost almost and what I noticed was, there you go, Boomstick's done. Now we move on to the uh, Remote C4. Remote C4C completely eliminates the crash. Like I said, I've been doing this for ages. I think it was that menu. But what happens here is, and as you can see, the scrap is now bogged out. And this is a good thing because what happens is you can't actually purchase this. This means you now have unlimited attempts of actually switching tabs and actually getting those upgrades. You ain't gonna run out of no attempts. Now, like I said, if these scraps wouldn't have uh, bogged out, then we'd only have obviously one chance with each before you accidentally don't time it right and you purchase the resource. So yeah, so I can use this forever now and I could upgrade my entire <laughs> upgrade stock. It is that crazy. So you, if it does bug out for you, that's a win-win. But yeah, if she does run out of things for you to sell in the resource page, because you haven't timed it right and you've purchased, I think, you need to obviously just go to sleep, go to rest, come back the next day, next morning, next night, whatever. Again, don't forget, go to the craft parts, guys. Make sure you purchase everything down to a single resource each. And just keep going, guys. So I'll have it above that. There we go. Let's get the timing right. Switch tabs perfectly. And we'll get it done. It's not, uh, see, my timing's off. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Like I said, this completely, completely eliminates the, uh, the freeze, the crash. Luckily my scraps bugged out. But like I said, if this, if this didn't uh, bug out, if the scraps didn't bug out, then obviously if I'm here and I fail, I don't switch in time, it's going to purchase the resin. So you go purchase the resin. Uh, keep trying. Purchase the rags. Got my cans. My cans is the last chance I have. See, he's purchased the cans now. So therefore, without that, without the bug that scraps, I'd have nothing else to do this with. So what I'd do is I'd go to uh, rest and I'd come back here the next day. Simple as that. Come back at night time. Come back in the morning. Don't matter. Because I got, I'm lucky. I got a <laughs> bug that scraps. I can literally sit here, guys, all night. Without the crash, and if I time it right, which I probably won't because I'm useless. So you hover above there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I want you to try this, guys. Um, and do let me know, let others know down below. But like I said, I've been doing this now for way over. What I did was, I did this, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this. I did this for about 45, 50 minutes, and I was upgrading everything. You know what I did? I thought, I'm just getting lucky. I'm just getting lucky. My game just ain't going to crash today. So I went to sleep. I come back and she had like a multiple of one item and it crashed more or less instantly. I was like, no. So what it was because it didn't save because what happens if you crash, if you've upgraded all these and then it crashes, it don't save. So when you come back, you got to upgrade them again. And that's what happened to me. I was like, no way. But yeah, that's what happened. Kind of got it, but it don't matter. But yeah, guys, this is it, it's as simple as that, and I hope you understand it, like I said. Uh, is it still bugged out? It's still bugged out, yeah? I can't get the timing right now, though. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hopefully, though, uh, you can actually get it to bug out like this for use. You probably will do it, to be honest. If it does, then you're onto a winner. It's just getting timing down.
But yeah, guys, there we have it. And I hope it helps you out. Give it a try and let me know down below. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.